What do you need to know about the microbiome diet? Microbiome diet centers around the idea that the key to optimal body function, and in turn, high metabolism and weight loss is a thriving internal ecosystem of bacteria. The principles of the microbiome diet are refocusing the way we eat and live, it is possible to tap into the healing power of the trillions of microscopic organisms flourishing within the intestine, collectively called the gut microbiome. These bacteria are our most important health allies, instrumental in key processes that take place in the body every day. They help digest our food, govern appetite, control metabolism, regulate the immune system, influence mood and brain function and even help determine the ways genes are expressed. Without them, we lack the foundation necessary to maintain or rebuild health and vibrancy. In his book The Microbiome Diet, Dr. Raphael Kelman stated, research reveals that when the microbiome goes out of balance, people often gain weight, even when they haven't changed their diet or exercise. An imbalanced microbiome often dooms just about any diet to failure. When the microbiome is balanced, however, people often lose weight, even when they don't make any other changes. What is the microbiome diet? This is the first diet of its kind, based upon cutting-edge scientific breakthroughs to heal and replenish the microbiome. When the microbiome flourishes so do we, however when it's out of balance, a state called dysbiosis, our health begins to falter. The microbiome diet was created with the specific focus of nourishing friendly, protective bacteria, while pruning species that have overgrown healthy limits. This approach not only improves function through the entire body, it raises the bar on what it means to actually be healthy. Patients frequently report benefits in systems and areas that seem completely disconnected from gut health. All roads lead to the microbiome and all health stems from a vibrant, thriving ecosystem. The gut microbiome refers to the community of trillions of bacteria that live in the human gut and all of the molecules that they release. In an adult, there are approximately 1 kilogram of bacteria found in the gut. The gut microbiome is thought to play a role in nutrition, metabolism, and the development of our immune system. Development of the gut microbiome is thought to start during pregnancy and continue until the age of 2. Human milk oligosaccharides HMOs, are the third most common ingredient in breast milk, despite the fact that they reek completely indigestible by infants. They are there to fed the baby's bacteria, specifically bifidobacterium, present in high numbers in breast-fed infants. After this age, the gut microbiome has matured to the point that it is similar to an adult's gut microbiome. The microbiome diet phase 1 The 4 R's. The 4 R approach to intestinal health works to rebalance gut flora by 1. Removing foods that interfere with a healthy microbiome, disruptive bacteria, pathogens and toxins. 2. Repairing the gut wall. 3. Replacing needed stomach acid and pancreatic enzymes. 4. Rhinoculating with large amounts of healing, probiotic bacteria. Diets high in refined carbohydrates, fat, sugar, processed foods, coloring, and fillers are what creates the perfect storm to allow opportunistic strains of bacteria to overgrow, as well as pathogens to dominate the balance of the ecology. By removing them, the intestine can heal and the composition of the microbiome begins to change for the better. Patients are advised to avoid the following for the first three weeks. Packaged foods Gluten soy fillers Color high fructose corn syrup Artificial sweeteners Trans, hydrogenated fats Potato, corn Deli meat Peanuts Fried foods High mercury fish Fruit juice Eggs Grains Dairy, except butter, ghee Legumes, except chickpeas, lentils the focus should shift to an organic, plant-based diet that includes microbiome superfoods. These are foods that contain prebiotic fibers necessary to feed and nourish the healthy strains of intestinal bacteria, giving them the energy to grow, multiply and thrive. Since these fibers are indigestible by us humans, they make it into the intestine intact, where they are fermented and broken down by our tiny friends. In the process, compounds called short-chain fatty acids SCFA, are released, which have many positive effects on our health. It's a win-win for everyone. Asparagus, garlic, Jerusalem artichoke, jicama, onion, leek, and radish are all terrific examples of prebiotic foods. Probiotic foods are equally as important, as they loaded with huge amounts of healing bacteria. Fermented vegetables, kimchi, sauerkraut, plus sheep, and goat's milk products like kefir and yogurt, contain exponentially more healing bacteria than supplements do.
A true microbiome diet includes liberal use of these foods to boost the quantity and types of strains that should be found in great numbers in the ecology. Fruits such as apples, berries, cherries, coconut, grapefruit, kiwi, nectarine, orange and rhubarb are also included. To round things out, healthy fats from nuts, seeds, natural nut, seed butters, avocado, fish, and oils from flaxseed, sunflower and olive are all great choices. When it comes to animal proteins, make the healthiest choice possible by focusing on organic, free-range and cruelty-free versions. In addition to diet, a key part of transforming the microbiome relies on specific herbs and compounds to remove unhealthy bacteria from the intestine. Great microbiome diet supplements include berberine, caprylic acid, garlic, grapefruit seed extract, oregano oil and wormwood are all useful to make shifts towards a positive bacterial balance. A good quality water filter should be used to lower the amount of toxins that we are all exposed to every day. Eat organically grown foods whenever possible to minimize any exposure to harmful chemicals and hormones in animals. Switch to natural versions of common household cleaners, cosmetics and personal care items, like makeup and shampoo, to help lessen your body's toxic burden even further. Additionally, we must stop the overuse of antibiotics, NSAIDs and drugs, like proton pump inhibitors, which decimate the microbiome, wiping out beneficial strains of bacteria. In the repair phase, powerful healing compounds are used to stop and prevent leaky gut, and additionally protecting the body from overactivity of the immune system that often happens as a result of large, undigested food particles slipping through a weakened gut wall. Zinc, carnosine, DGL, deglycerizinated licorice or gut guard, glutamine, marshmallow, N-acetylglucosamine, quercetin, slippery elm, and vitamin D, all help to soothe and heal intestinal damage. Stomach acid and digestive enzymes play a key role in health by breaking down foods to their smallest components, making them easily absorbed into the intestine. Additionally, the acidic pH of the stomach creates a protective, hostile environment for pathogens hitching a ride on foods. Without enough of these important substances, nutrient deficiencies are common including B6, B12, folate, calcium and iron, plus microbiome imbalances are more likely. It is wise to replace hydrochloric acid and enzymes like protease, lipase, amylase and even some DPPIV, which can help break down gluten during accidental exposure. Apple cider vinegar is another great option that can help ignite the flames of digestion, as well as being antimicrobial by nature. While the microbiome diet emphasizes the use of probiotic foods, targeted probiotic supplements are also important and afford us the possibility of controlling the types of strains introduced to the ecology. In general, a good quality probiotic contains many diverse species. It has at least three types of Lactobacillus acidophilus, Rhamnosus, Plankterum, contains different types of Bifidobacteria, when possible also has Acidophilus rotary, and should contain between 50 and 200 billion bacteria. Additionally, specific species can be added for specific conditions. In cases of autoimmunity and candida, we may add in Saccharomyces boulardii. For patients suffering with diarrhea, Culturel's strain of Lactobacillus GG is a great option, while B. Infantis 35624, found in Aligned, works wonders for high levels of inflammation as seen with elevated TNF-alpha levels. Phase 2 The Metabolic Boost After the first 21 days on the diet, the intestine have begun to heal, inflammation is down, and positive shifts are already taking place in the microbiome. In this next phase, we continue to omit damaging foods, while adding in the following for the next four weeks. Dairy, goat or sheep's milk products such as milk, cheese and yogurt, kefir of all types including cow's milk, and coconut yogurt. Eggs, organic, free range. Fruits, mango, melon, peaches, and pears. Gluten-free grains, including amaranth, buckwheat, millet, oats, certified GF, quinoa, brown rice, basmati rice, and wild rice. Legumes, green beans and all types of beans, including black, kidney, red and white. Sweet potatoes and yams. Phase 3 The Lifetime Tune-Up. At this point in the process, the intestine is healing or has fully healed and so has the microbiome. A good rule of thumb is to always try to avoid the damaging foods, listen to your body, and follow your inner guide as to what foods work or don't work for you. By maintaining the microbiome diet principles, the health of the bacterial communities is ensured. The 4R approach can help restore a healthful microbiome balance, heal the intestine and rejuvenate the body when used in conjunction with the microbiome diet. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Healthy Lifestyle.